in example three, graph the relation r given by 2x minus 4y equals 8. Is r a function? Find its domain and range. Is r discrete or continuous? Okay, so graph the relation given by 2x minus 4y equals 8. Let's go ahead and find some x and y values so that we can graph this. So x is, when x is 0, we, have to, we need to be able to solve for y. So when x is 0, let's figure out what y is. That's 0 minus 4y equals 8. Therefore, y equals negative 2, dividing both sides by negative 4. Okay? When x is 2, 2 times 2 minus 4y equals 8. That's 4 minus 4y equals 8. That's negative 4y equals 4 y equals negative 1. Okay, and let's do one more. When x is negative 2, this is going to give me negative 4 minus 4y equals 8. That is going to then give me, adding 4 to both sides, will give me negative 4y equals 12 or y equals negative 3. That's good. All right, so when x is 0, y is negative 2. When x is 2, y is negative 1. When x is negative 2, y is negative 3. So right here. Okay, so I'm asked to graph it and I have some points here that I generated but I also realized that I could have picked points in between these, which would actually end up connecting this as a line. So I'm not just given a set of ordered pairs. I'm giving an equation that could have an infinite number of values for x, which would allow me to graph this as a continuous line. Therefore, I graph the relation, is r a function? Is r discrete or continuous? Well, I've already answered that. Seeing the graph of this, I know that this is continuous. And let's see. Next step, is r a function? Yes, it is a function. Because if I look for every value of x, for every value of the domain, there's a unique, there, there's a value of the um, one value only of the range. So every element of the domain is paired with only one element of the range. It's continuous and it is a function. Find the domain and range. Well, this is another case where I could choose x to be any real number. So all real numbers. It could be all real numbers, any real number. Here, the situation is the same for the range, all real numbers. Depending on my x value, I could come up with infinite possibilities for what the range would be, what the y value would be. So r is a function. Its domain and range are all real numbers, and this is a continuous function.